In this lesson, we're going to take a look at some examples involving the capture and recapture method. Mm -hmm. So if you take a look at this first problem, it says Trent captures tags and releases 11 captures tags and releases 11 rabbits in his backyard. A week later, he captures 15 rabbits, nine of which have tags. Based on this information, how many rabbits do you think are in Trent's backyard? So to do this, we're going to write a proportion. So I'm going to set up my proportion like this. And I'm going to take the information um, after Trent comes back. So he, he tags and releases 11 rabbits, but I'm going to save that for now. And I'm going to focus on the information when he comes back a week later. So when he comes back a week later, he captures 15 rabbits, nine of which have tags. So I'm going to take that information and I'm going to put that in my proportion. So he captures 15 total rabbits, nine of which have tags. So in our proportion, we're going to write 9 out of 15. Now we have to go back to this piece of information with the 11 here. So 11 rabbits have tags in his backyard. So since on the top, the top row represents the tagged animals and the bottom row represents totals, we're going to put the 11 across from the 9. And then so the bottom, the total then, would be x. And so now all we need to do is do our cross products to solve this. So we're going to do 9 times x equals 9x and then 15 times 11, which gives us 165. And then to solve, we just divide both sides by 9. So x equals 165 divided by 9, and we get 18.3 repeating. Since we can't have 0.3 repeating rabbits, we're going to round that to approximately 18 rabbits. So we would predict that there are 18 rabbits in his backyard based on that information. Look at another example. Sherry, a biologist, captures and tags 32 deer in a wooded region and then releases them. Three months later, she returns and captures 50 deer, eight of which have tags. Based on this information, how many deer do you think are in the region? So again, we're going to make our proportion, and we're going to take the information about how many deer have tags total. So there are 32 deer that have tags. But I'm going to save that information for a little bit later. And I'm going to focus on when she comes back and returns. So when she returns, she captures 50 deer, 8 of which have tags. So she captures 50 deer, 8 of which have tags. So the information on the top is the information with the tags, and the information on the bottom is your total. So since they tagged 32 total deer in the woods, the 32 needs to go across from the 8, and then x is the total population that we're looking for, so that's going to go on the bottom with the totals. So then again, to solve this, we do our cross products. 8x equals 50 times 32, which gives us 1,600. And then we're going to divide both sides by 8. So x equals 1,600 divided by 8 gives us 200. So we would anticipate that there are 200 deer in the region that she is looking at. Let's take a look at the example. Okay, so again, um, we'll read the problem. John wants to find out approximately how many fish are in his pond. He catches and marks 22 fish and then releases them. Two months later, he catches 30 fish, four of which have tags. Based on this information, how many fish do you think are in John's pond? So this is a proportional relationship. Again, we're going to take the information about how many total fish have tags. So he tags 22 total fish but we're going to save that for the end. And we're going to focus on when he comes back two months later, he catches 30 fish, four of which have tags. So four out of the 30 fish have tags. So the top number is the tags and the bottom number is the total. So when we go over here and figure out that he, there's 22 total fish that have tags in this pond, that means the 22 needs to go across from the four. And x is what we don't know, which is how many fish are in the pond. So that's our total, and that's going to go on the bottom. So then again, to finish this, you're going to do your cross products. 4x equals 30 times 22 gives us 660. Divide both sides by 4. So x equals 165. So we would predict, based on this information, there are 165 fish Oops, I'm sorry, I was going to write pond. 165 fish in John's pond. So there are some examples of how to write proportions when dealing with the capture and recapture method.